So I wanted to sit down and get real with you guys on the limiting beliefs that I used to have and now how I've changed them into a more empowering belief because that's what really allowed me to live the dream life that I have today. So I'm sharing with you guys three empowering money beliefs that shaped my dream life so that you can get inspired to shift your mindset so that you can be in better control of your money and in turn your reality. If you're all about that, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel because I don't miss out on a new video every single weekend. Now let's get into those money beliefs. First off, I want to share like why it is so powerful to work on our mindset because I've learned that it really is a domino effect. Your thoughts create your beliefs, your beliefs create your actions, your actions turn into habits, and then of course our habits become our destiny, our reality. So it really starts off with do you have the right thoughts that shape your beliefs? Because in reality, our beliefs are shaped with our experiences, the things that we grew up with. And if you are not aware of those negative effects to our thoughts and to our actions, we are allowing life to control us rather than we are the ones steering the wheel of our life so that we can be in better control of really shaping the reality that we want. Here's the mind-blowing thing that I learned during my coaching training is that we actually have 2 million bits of information in this brain of ours. So can you just imagine how in the world are we able to really filter through that how are we able to remember all the things that's why we don't what really happens is we're only consciously aware of 126 bits of information so imagine out of 2 million that's going through in our heads we're only consciously aware of 126 what we can take out of this is that what are you focusing on with that 126 bits of information are you choosing to focus on the negative experience are you choosing to focus on the negative things that happened to you in the past or are you choosing to be consciously aware of the positive things that could happen to you are you focusing on what you have rather than what you lack and that really where the money mindset comes in is your money mindset in the right place where it really empowers you to take action on the things that you want or is it actually just putting you in this box? Is it making you feel insecure that you don't have enough, that you have so many things that you lack? I've seen it with my clients is because they start off feeling so doubtful of themselves, so overcritical, so insecure, so pressured of themselves to reach this point that they also feel paralyzed in managing their money. What they realize, it's been all up in their heads that they have been putting themselves in a box that they have been settling because after working together, they are so freaking confident. They are so looking forward to what's achievable, what's possible for them now because they see, they visualize the concrete timelines, the concrete action plan, and there's really nothing else to go but up. That's why I cannot shut up enough like how your thoughts really create your reality because I've seen it in myself. I wanted to start a business before but it always been at the back of my head and then I realized it has always been at the back of my head. It's not in the forefront. It's not in the 126 bits of information that I was conscious to be aware of because I choose to put it at the back of my head when in fact it's always been what I wanted all along but the thing is my thoughts my mindset kept saying like you're not worth it like who are you to start a business that's why I highly highly believe that your money beliefs stems from your self beliefs like how confident are you in your own worth your mindset your beliefs that's what's really going to take control of the reality that you want because that's how I was able to be where I am today to be free to be independent and to be living life on my terms so belief number one that I really embraced is that handling money is easy and effortless the thing is we have this some kind of assumption that something that is important is going to be difficult to do but what if we flip it what if we're like what if that wasn't true what if the opposite was actually true? And what happens? Your brain switches. Your brain thinks about, okay, what is the easier path for me to do this? And that is exactly what happened to me. I was like, you know what? I'm not good at math. I'm not good in Excel. I'm not good with all the formulas. I'm not good at computation, whatever. How can I make this easier for me in such a way that would actually make an impact? right because sometimes we're like okay we need to track our expenses daily we need to look our excel every single day and then what happens you just feel discouraged because you see your expenses and you're like okay now what 
oh my gosh, I'm just more overwhelmed than I started with. And that's what really happens when we constantly look for additional clutter in our heads. Because as I've talked to you guys about, we have 2 million bits of information in our head and only 126 is really what we're consciously aware of. So imagine yung 126 na yun, what if it's all about these kinds of financial tips, financial advice that keep cluttering your head and then they're like conflicting and you're confused. What do I apply? What can I apply in the first place? And so that's why what I did was like, you know what, what if there's actually a simpler, easier path? Like when I coach my clients with their thoughts, with their beliefs, and then hand them over my financial system that is so simple and that is so automated, they're like, oh my gosh. I've been overcomplicating everything for the longest time. I, I swear to you, that is always the same reaction every single time I coach my clients. Because the problem is you may be skipping steps. You're like, okay, I need to invest. Okay, I need to have more income streams. I need passive income, all that. These are the common things that I get. And the thing is, you're like stuck because how am I going to do that? Because wala nang natira sa salary ko. And bakit wala nang natitira? More often than not, it's because you don't realize that you have these little spending habits that are accumulating, that are eating up your salary. That's what happens. By the way, if you haven't downloaded my monthly expense tracker that is similar to what I have, that really allowed me to simplify everything. So make sure that you download it through the link below. And I think that's a beginner way to just get started on how you can take a look at your expenses and where you can really reduce. Ah. Second money belief is I choose to invest in myself. This is so powerful because I got to think about like, okay, what are my dreams that are really worth investing in that will really contribute to my freedom, to my happiness, to my lasting freedom? And that really was looking into also what are not worth investing my time and money on. Because sometimes we forget that actually when we make an investment, it's a reflection of our self-worth and our self belief like how strongly do you believe in your worth and what you deserve and when you really think of it that way then you know that yourself that you yourself is worth investing in so for me i remember when i decided to avail of the course that i wanted to help me start my coaching business i knew about it for the longest time like years okay but i never did it i never decided to do it because you know at that point i thought like oh it's too expensive oh i can't afford it at that time blah 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 but you know what that was just the surface level excuse but because in reality i could i really could but in reality the real the real problem that was going on was that I thought that I might fail. I might fail starting my business. I might be a disappointment. Who am I to start a business? That's what it was really stemming from. So as you can see, it was a question of self-worth, of self-belief. That's why I didn't take that investment. But when I decided that I have a story to tell, I can help people, I can provide transformation in the same way I've experienced in my life. Because if I could just help someone get out of the same black hole that I was in, then it is worth putting up a business for. That's when I was like, you know what? This investment shouldn't be something that I keep doubting myself about. So I did. I took it, right? And I shared that it was a $1,000 course. It was like 50000 But there was just this fire in me. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make it work, to make it happen. I'm gonna put in the work. I'm gonna commit. And now I see that I can help more people, I can serve more clients. And that's what I realized, when you invest in something, you're investing in yourself, you're investing in a better version of you. So if you invest in the wrong things, like the short-term gratification, the short-term rewards, the, the time also that you delay, right? You're like, oh, maybe later I will save, maybe later I will think about it, maybe later I'll think of a plan. That's also investing in delaying time either you're investing in yourself in your dreams 
or you are just letting your dreams slip away. I think that's really the two choices, the two paths that I didn't realize back then was that when I didn't invest in myself, I was investing in something else. I was investing in someone else's dreams. Speaking of, if you are ready to invest in yourself and your dreams and really fast tracking your roadmap to fund them to reality, then you can click in the link in my bio to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program that literally changed lives of my clients in under eight sessions. And I just want to shout it out because I really see the huge impact, the life-changing impact in my clients. And I feel like it is my duty to share it to more people because I see that if you really put your skin in the game, if you really commit to making a life-changing impact in your financial goals, everything shifts. You realize that you are worth it. You realize that your dreams are worth investing your time and money on. So click the link in my bio to see like all of the amazing client wins and testimonials because that may be you one day. Ah. Third money belief that shaped my dream life is saying I have more than enough because the most common problem and misconception I get from clients before they start working with me and they're like okay I need help they keep believing that I don't have enough I don't have enough anymore to save to invest to do what I want to enjoy life I feel deprived there's always not enough you know what the reality is the reality is we can't have everything you want that's it because hindi naman lahat ng quote unquote gusto ko may be aligned to my dreams. So I set priorities on what I do want and what is aligned to my purpose, to my life vision and mission for myself. So the thing is, if you keep focusing on the lack, then you will always think there's something missing. But if you focus on what you do have, then you eventually get what you lack. Okay? If you focus on what you have, how you embrace maximizing your current income, how you can make room for savings, for investments, for your dreams, then that's what will really allow you to think of your situation differently. If you are a working professional, if you have a corporate job, right, there's always a way to look at your finances differently. Because I swear to you, all of the clients that I worked with, they realize like, oh my gosh, I really have more than enough. It's not something that is like, you think of it that way and then magically, you know, you get more money. It's not like that. It's more of like really looking at your expenses, really looking at your trackers. And that's what I do. I do a personal finance audit with my clients. So we look at, okay, what have you been spending on? What is the cost of your debt? What were the triggers of your shopping patterns? How can we prevent that? How can we avoid that? Also, the most common roadblock is like, oh, I just have to pay so much household expenses. I have expenses at home that I can't escape. And then after working together and really looking at and really being so nitty gritty of all their expenses and the income that they have and all that and really auditing it they're like oh my gosh i kept saying that i can't save because of my household expenses but that was literally just an excuse it was just an excuse how long are you going to make excuses for the rest of your life like will you just keep blaming it on household expenses will you keep blaming it on situations you can't control like for me i live alone i pay for everything i think of it as like because i get to pay for household expenses i get to live independently i get to live freely and that's what i'm focusing on right because i get to live independently then paying for expenses is just thing that I have to do and that's really the power of focusing on what you have because you then think of ways to make it easier for you and that's really why if you have these limiting beliefs in your head it also translates to how you show up how you take action because if you feel like wala na talaga ito na talaga yung life you know life sucks and so you will just keep embracing that and don't do anything about it versus if you know that you can be in control of what you want of really taking control of making your dream life happen then you take action and that's really what i've seen is the power of really mastering your mindset like i've seen it with coaching my clients is that when they are in this place of like coming from a rut coming from a negative cloud money is so hard money is so complicated it's so daunting versus from that place they realize like oh my gosh there's so many possibilities they're like 
I can literally start the day. I can make the little steps that will get me to my dream life. By the way, you can also follow me on Instagram where I share a lot of like infographics and thoughts about, you know, really mastering your money mindset and how you can make those shifts in your limiting beliefs so that you can take more control of your mind, of your brain, so that you can see how it translates to your dream life. You can also DM me over there on Instagram if you want to share like your learnings, your key takeaways, your aha moments because I always love to hear them. And if you'd like to know more tips, I do share my journey on how I was able to really master my mindset and also how you can overcome those toxic money beliefs. So I will see you there.